Hey my loves, not sure what to eat for dinner? No worries, because today I'm cooking with Tammy, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious spinach crab stuffed salmon. So without further ado, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. Our salmon has been washed, cleaned, and pat dried, of course. We also have our shrimp. This is jumbo shrimp, however, feel free to use any size shrimp. As you can see, we took the tails off, they are deveined, and we went ahead and pat them dried. We're also going to need room temperature cream cheese along with spinach. Doesn't matter if it's frozen or fresh. For our seasonings, we're going to be using garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay, Cajun seasoning, seafood seasoning, cedarwood smoked seafood seasoning, oil, butter, and last but not least, our lump crab. However, when it comes to the crab, use any type of crab meat, whether it be special, claw crab, doesn't really matter for this recipe. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing we want to do is add a small amount of oil to our salmon. Adding the oil to the salmon is definitely going to help with allowing us to spread the dry ingredients onto the salmon without any problems. So use whatever oil you prefer. If you want to take a healthier route and add maybe avocado oil or maybe a small drizzle of olive oil, you can definitely do that as well. We're going to start with adding our onion powder. Use a light hand of course, follow it up with our garlic powder. We're also going to add some Old Bay seasoning. Of course, the Old Bay tastes great, but it does contain salt, so be sure to use a light hand. We're also going to add some of our delicious Cooking with Tammy brand Cajun seasoning. Just in case if you don't know, the Cajun seasoning is salt-free. We're going to add a good amount, simply because it is salt-free. We're also going to add some seafood seasoning. Let's add a good amount. And last but not least, we're gonna add some of our delicious cedarwood smoked seafood seasoning. All of these seasonings can be grabbed on up at cookingwithtammy.shop. I'm gonna leave the link in the bottom of the description bar below this video. We're gonna use our trusty hands and we're gonna pat all of the seasoning on into the salmon. We're gonna pick that salmon on up, flip it on over as if its name was Flipper. We're gonna add some of the seasoning to the back as well. If you need to add a little bit more oil to the salmon in order to spread the dry rub onto the salmon, you can definitely do that as well. Let's massage the seasoning on in. Grab a paring knife, and we're gonna place a small slit down the center of the salmon. However, we're not gonna perforate the salmon all the way through, simply because in a matter of seconds, we are gonna stuff our salmon. Our salmon is looking perfect, so we are gonna place it to the side and reserve it for later. Moving right along, it's time for us to work on our shrimp. Let's hit it off with a small amount of oil, followed by onion powder, along with garlic powder. Use the same light hand. We're also going to add some Old Bay seasoning as well, along with Cajun seasoning, seafood seasoning, and our cedarwood smoked seafood seasoning as well for a nice citrusy, smoky flavor. We're gonna mix it on up really, really good. Get back in here, shrimp. Where you think you going? Make sure all of the seasonings are well incorporated with the shrimp. Our shrimp refuses to stay in the bowl for some odd reason, but you know what? We're just gonna work with what wants to stay in the bowl, all right? We're just gonna keep incorporating our shrimp. And once we're done, we're gonna place that to the side as well. Using a small to medium sized bowl, we're gonna add our room temperature cream cheese. We're gonna add our spinach, as you can see. I'm using frozen spinach. However, if you're gonna be using frozen spinach, allow the spinach to thaw out first. Once you're done, you're gonna squeeze that spinach on out, removing any excess water that may be in the spinach. However, if you're gonna be using fresh spinach, you need to cook that spinach down slightly. So what you're gonna to need to do is add a little oil to a pan, add your spinach along with maybe some garlic, a little salt, ground black pepper, season it up just a bit to your liking. Once you're done, you're gonna remove it from the stove top, allow that spinach to cool on down to room temperature before incorporating it with the cream cheese. I went ahead and added the lump crab. We're going to mix it on in. As you can see, the cream cheese is breaking down without a problem. There's no resistance going on. We're going to incorporate all three ingredients, both the cream cheese along with the spinach and crab meat. Use room temperature cream cheese simply because when it comes to the breaking down process, you don't want to be fighting with your cream cheese, all right? If your cream cheese is fresh out of the refrigerator, it's going to be a task trying to break down that bad boy. 
mix it on up really, really good. Make sure everything is perfectly incorporated. Once we're done, we need to add a little flavor to our spinach and cream cheese mixture. So we're gonna add some garlic powder along with Old Bay and seafood seasoning. We're also gonna add some of our cedar wood smoked seafood seasoning as well. And we're gonna mix that on in there as well. If you don't have these seasonings, you can get them at cookingwithtammy.shop or feel free to substitute it with what you already have. Give it a final mix and a quick taste and boom, we are finished. Let's bring our salmon back onto the cutting board and it's time to get the stuffing. And I'm not talking about turkey. <laughs> we're gonna take a good amount of our beautiful spinach and crab mixture and we're gonna place it in the center of the salmon. Sit it right on the top. Make sure to add a good amount. As you can see, I'm not playing. I'm stuffing the salmon real good. <laughs> the great thing I like about this recipe is not only is it cute or big on presentation, but if you're a pescatarian and you're not down with eating meat, this would make the perfect, in my opinion, Thanksgiving dinner, especially if you want to eat something quick and light, not to mention for dinner or a date night, this would be the perfect recipe. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna separate our salmon, place it to the side, provide a little bit of extra space. We're gonna take our beautiful seasoned shrimp and we're gonna place it on top of the crab meat mixture, just like I'm doing. Add as much shrimp as you want. I know it may look like the shrimp is gonna fall off, but it's really not. It's gonna literally sit on top of the crab mixture and it's not gonna go anywhere, which is perfect. I'm only gonna be adding about maybe three to four pieces of shrimp for each slice of salmon. However, feel free to add even more. If you wanna add maybe let's say five, six pieces, however many pieces your salmon will allow is what you need to add, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my cast iron skillet. We're gonna hit it off with some nonstick cooking spray. Gonna get a paper towel and spread it all around the pan. Once you're done, you're gonna place your beautifully stuffed salmon into the pan. Give it enough room because we want everything to bake on up and we want even heat distribution throughout the pan in order to cook our stuffed salmon perfectly. Into the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 17 to 20 minutes. Once the salmon starts to firm on up and the shrimp changes color, boom, we're in business. During the cooking process, I did go ahead and add some melted butter to the salmon. And let me tell you, oh my goodness, guys. I also went ahead and basted the salmon with the butter as well. As you can see, I paired it on up with some lemon because you can't have salmon or any type of seafood without lemon, all right, guys? When it comes to the baking, you can use any type of dish, whether it be a cast iron skillet, heavy duty frying pan, uh, let's see, aluminum baking pan, or even a casserole dish, it really doesn't matter. Anyway guys, this is a keto recipe. Pair it with your favorite rice, pasta, mashed potatoes, and get to eating. Definitely give this recipe a try, let me know what you think. Don't forget to check out my holiday playlist with all of those delicious recipes, from candied yams to southern collard greens, you name it, it's on the playlist. I'm your girl cooking with Tammy and I will definitely catch you in another video.